Bill Haney and Devin Haney ripped me off. That is the word of Regis Progray after his loss to Jack Catterall. And it shows a disturbing trend in the sport of boxing and exactly why. You have to be real careful with people that sue a lot and people that have reputations for taking advantage of people. It seems as if Bill Haney and Devin Haney are trying their best to use the same tactics on uh, Regis Progray that they're using on, that they use the same tactics on Regis Progray that they're trying to use on Gervonta Davis. And unfortunately for Regis Progray, it worked. And it cost him a lot of money. And it may have cost him his title. Let's talk about that in this video. There are a lot of scam artists out in the world. Lots of them. More than just, you know, the stereotypical and I think, you know, inappropriate. Uh, well, how could I say um, stereotype of a Nigerian scam artist, right? <laughs> I think that that is a very, very bad trope on Africans, but I'm just going to use that for a second and say, you know, in YouTube, we got a lot of scam artists similar to people sending you notes and saying, hey, I'm an African king and I'm trying to, if you just send me $50, once I get my daughter back from Australia, I will be able to open my secret vault and give you a billion dollars. Will you please give me this $5? That's the problem that I have, right? <laughs> that is about the same pitch that you hear from Devin Haney, Bill Haney, the Hanos clan, all of the different people who are what I would say um, ardent financial benefactors of Devin Haney. So one of these myths that was sold about Devin Haney is that he's the face of boxing, that he's a big draw, that everybody wants to see him fight. Why do people believe that? Because he's got a, what I believe, my opinion, a paid internet and YouTube e uh, ecosystem that's going to tell that to anybody that has anything to say anywhere on the internet about it, right? Unfortunately, it's not true. Unfortunately, the emperor has no clothes. Unfortunately, it's all smoke and mirrors. Unfortunately for who? Unfortunately for Regis Progray. And why do I say that? Before I do, welcome back to the channel. Hit the subscribe button and support in the super thanks. It is the way we are able to do these videos. And I'm giving you the, I'm telling you, I'm giving you the truth. So I appreciate if the, you can support. If you can't, hit the like, share the video. So unfortunately for Regis Progray, he found out the very hard way that that's not true. That Gervonta Davis, I mean, that Devin Haney is not a big star. That Devin Haney does not sell out stadiums, even though Devin Haney claimed that he sold out stadiums. Now, what did Regis Progray say that sparks this conversation? He told Marcus Viegas of Fight Hub that he didn't get paid from the Regis Progray versus Devin Haney fight. And he didn't mean that he did not get his purse, his purse. He got his purse. He got the amount of money that he was due in his purse, in his bout agreement. However, Regis Progray was the WBC world champion. And he, being the WBC world champion, was the one who decided to give Devin Haney a shot. At the belt, he didn't have to. He, Regis Progray, could have fought Sandor Martin. But what did he do? He gave Regis, he gave Devin Haney to fight, and he agreed to fight Devin in San Francisco. Why did Regis Progray agree to fight him in San Francisco? Because he was he was led to believe that there would be a lot of tickets sold and that there would be a lot of pay-per-views sold, because obviously. 
Devin's a star. You know Devin's a star. ESPN talks about him. YouTube channels talk about him. He's all over Twitter. He got interviewed with a million dollars worth of game. He's been interviewed by, uh, he's been, I'm who knows if he's been on hot boxing or not. But, you know, I don't know if he's, maybe he's been on The Breakfast Club. You know, they do those rounds. Shoot, Bill Haney is out there doing Vlad TV. So that must mean that they're really, really, really popular. They're really, 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 everybody's going to get behind them. Only problem, no. That's a bunch of hype. That's a bunch of hyperbole. That is a bunch of stuff that where it makes you look famous and it makes you look fancy because you're around the famous and fancy people. But you're not because people do not want to buy your fight because you always go to distance and people think it's boring. Okay, so what happens to Regis? Regis fights Devin, loses. But hey, no worries. I lost to Devin. I went to his hometown, gave him a hometown advantage, right? Fought him instead of somebody else. And I lose. No worries. That I'm looking just waiting for my pay-per-view. I'm just waiting for this. Oh, we got all these people up in here. We listen. I'm just waiting for the gate. Well, guess what? Regis Progray still waiting. And Regis Progray going to be waiting for the rest of his life, just like Devin Haney is still waiting on Oscar De La Hoya to give him his pay-per-view monies and for him to give him his gate money in a gate, in, in a venue that had $4 million in it. And I do believe um, Regis Progray is looking for his money in a gate that did like $1.7 million in a gate. Right? The money's not coming. It's not coming. Because why? That play, that arena, I could go back and look, but a lot of those things were comped. A lot of them were comped. Also, if I recall correctly, a lot of the ticket prices were dropping. Just like in just like in when Devin fought Ryan Garcia in New York City, how they raised those, how they had the initial ticket prices, and the initial and the ticket prices just kept dropping. They kept dropping because you guys are trying to pretend like you're Gervonta Davis. You're not Gervonta Davis. Devin Haney is just Gervonta, is just pretending to be Gervonta Davis. He's not actually Gervonta Davis. Okay? Just like Tiafimo Lopez was pretending to be Gervonta Davis level popular. He's not Gervonta Davis level popular. He's not. It's Gervonta that is that. And so if you go fight those guys... Guess what? Despite no matter how much of the obloviating they've done, no matter how much of the vapid, a vapid, vapid explanations and ridiculous um, exaggerations <laughs> that they have that they have used, that what they what reality when rubber hits the road, it's not there. This is a big culture of fake it till you make it and act like I'm better than the next guy when everybody in their mama knows you're not. See, back in the day. You used to, when you, before you had social media, you couldn't fake being big by buying a bunch of followers, buying a bunch of subscribers, um, you know, jumping on, jumping on these one of 50 million uh, podcasts out there in the world, right? Get it, and by the way, p- probably paying to get on, right? That does not mean that you are actually a popular individual. It doesn't mean that. So that is what happened to Regis Progray. He bought into the hype. He bought into the belief that these people were telling these people with these YouTube channels and Eddie Hearn and these and all these other people were telling the truth about how much money they were making, telling the truth about how big their fights were. And guess what? He trusted them and he didn't get anything on the back end. But if he would have listened to regular people with common sense, they could have told him you're not getting anything on the back end from that. Because Devin doesn't sell. And if you look at the ticket sales, a lot of those tickets that they say, that basically a lot of those things were comped. A lot of them were comped and the ticket prices were reduced. No, you are not going to get that. And Devin is not a pay-per-view star because the fight is aired on DAZN. Not a lot of people have DAZN. So how are people going to buy your pay-per-view on a network that where people don't buy pay-per-view, that paper people don't buy pay-per-views on? You guys listen to all these foreign guys from you not out from the UK and from wherever they're from talking about what's going on in the United States like they know what they're talking about. They don't. So you rely on them and you get screwed or you relied on somebody as shysty as Bill Haney and you get screwed. Devin Haney, I mean, uh, Bill Haney's shysty. The simple fact that he's shysty should be enough to know not to not to trust him, not to believe it because he's shysty. But anyway. <laughs> 
That's my take on the matter. And I feel sorry, not sorry for Regis because he probably got a million, walked away, you know, with four or five hundred thousand dollars at the end of it after he paid his taxes. But you know how that works. Four or five hundred thousand dollars doesn't last forever. You know what I mean? Four or five thousand dollars. He's going to have to come back out and fight. And just guess what happened? Regis Progray just had his just had his uh, just had his uh, fight life extended because of that deal with Devin Haney and um, and Bill Haney and not getting that money. Because what he said was, look, if it was for all of that, I might as well fight in New Orleans. Yeah. Fight in New Orleans with a home crowd. Everybody cheering you. Yeah. (laughs) Also, you may not come out so funny feeling. When you're fighting. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. 